Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video we are going to talk and I'm going to show you the Foxit S sign, which as uh, the name suggests, it's an app for e-signing the documents. So what is it? Uh, Foxit eSign is an innovative virtual platform for collecting and documenting signatures. Gathering signatures through Foxit is uh, as convenient as using the platform for authorizing documents. This is done with intuitive document-based templates, bulk options and uh, white labels. HIPAA and SOC2 compliant protocols along with uh, developer-friendly API integration facilities. Uh, the platform is available in over 60 different countries and can be used with a variation of uh, 12 different languages. Foxit A signs uh, effective electronic signatures allow clients to close deals with 100% uh, security and convenience. <coughs> oh, sorry. This cuts down an uh, unnecessary chaos and uh, expenses that would have otherwise been uh, incurred with paper documents, uh, bulk mailing, faxing, scanning, or installing other pieces of software. Further, the user interface of this platform is uh, specially designed with simple features and options for non-developers to find themselves comfortable with significant operational tasks. They are based in uh, California, and I would say they are made for all types of businesses, even the largest of uh, largest of enterprises. Uh, you can uh, run them uh, uh, on the web or in uh, iOS. So as I'm aware, they are not uh, they are not supporting Android. When we uh, check the products for uh, e signs. Uh, they are quite expensive so if you want to go and check uh, others uh, in my opinion there, there uh, everything is in euros for e-sign then we have a pro for 300 but you have more than for example at uh, DocuSign or sign now or many many more so they are really more focused towards uh, the businesses and large enterprises not for just uh, individuals because uh, yeah uh, paying 100 euros for uh, e-sign subscription is a lot for individual or freelancer but uh, they are very generously providing the free trial that we are about to check out once you uh, click on the free trial, uh, you have to check if you want to go with a pro or a normal e-sign, then give them your email, first name, last name, company, and phone number. According to phone number, you will be pointed towards the country. And uh, so, yeah, uh, then you will have to wait for confirmation email. And once you're done, you will be asked to enter a password and here we are as you can see i have uh already uh, already signed into my uh free account and as you can see as i said uh, we have 13 days left in our free trial and this is the very nice option for you guys to check out if the Foxit eSign is the one for you. If it's not, you can simply just uh, go with uh, something else, go with another one, but it's always nice to have these uh, few days of uh, free trial for you to find out if um the app or the software that you are uh, trying out it if it's the one for you all the time like you can uh, go and check the the upgrade button and upgrade it into full uh, version or uh yeah just uh check it out uh how it works out 
So first of all, we have to upload a document. We click upload file and let's go with a sample. It's the basic PDF that I uh, fi found, uh, so there shouldn't be too much of a hassle around it, but it's not showing properly. So let's go like maybe drag and drop. Oh yeah, drag and drop works just fine. As you can see, there's a sample one, page one, and yeah, let's go next. We have all documents added, sender, uh, the name of the account, which is, uh, uh, which is mine. And add recipient signer. Let's go and, um, I don't know, John White. Or yeah, add me or you can uh, add a new one, John White, email ID. Oh, let's, let's not go with that. Uh, save and next. And here we are we can add a signature field let's go like this we can uh, add a, da uh, a date and it's very very easy as you can see already uh, we can go with uh, many options like a text field Let's go with address and uh, text, text field with name. And yeah, obviously we are going to create or I'm going to create more videos about how to add another uh, signers because this blue color is only for one person to fill. Uh, if you need two uh, signs, uh, you have to basically add another field, let's say in orange color, which will determine uh, who will be signing uh, which color. For example, Matt King is blue and uh, the other guy will be someone else. But let's just do it right, right now. Let's go back to signers. Yeah, let's do it. Right now. Let's don't be lazy. Add new. Let's go with Jack white email id like this phone let's go with for, uh but yeah that's optional so let's add and we have jack white which is a uh, green color now save and next and yet again, as you can see, we have two people in here. So Matt King is blue and Jack White is green, paradoxically. And yeah, let's go and let's go with signature field. So first signature field is Matt King and another one, completely different color. So they won't mistake each other is uh, Jack White. Let's go with uh, yeah, like this and yeah, signature field like this. Easy and beautiful so far. And uh, just, you can save it. A document is saved successfully. You can go to home and we have a one draft already uh, prepared. So I think so far is quite easy to operate. I'll create more videos about Foxit eSign for you. Uh, so this one isn't like long and, and busy. So I'll create more. 
for you to show you how it's all done and uh, if you have any more questions please leave them underneath this video and i'll try to answer it as quickly as possible also if you have uh, some problems with logging in we can cover that uh, as well so feel free to ask the questions i'll answer them thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video have a great day